guys and welcome back Gumbo here welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels expansion I know yeah it's pretty darn amazing just look at this scenery holy moly's plenty of tracks plenty of loops you even got fire rings you got everything in this expansion, it looks damn amazing. And yeah, there's a new feature. With the drone, you can actually fly as high up as you want. You got a lot more freedom. That's how you can get these awesome images. And look at the festival site. Oh man, it looks like the Starship Enterprise. It's ready to take off. But today we gotta answer an important question. Can you drift in the Hot Wheels expansion? So we're gonna be driving this, the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat for Ryzen Edition. This is pretty tuned for drifting. And off the bat, I can tell you, oh, this uh, notch on the left is a bit annoying. You got those on pretty much all of the roads in this expansion. Anyway, what is different in this expansion? All the roads you're driving in are actually made out of plastic. The information is pretty clearly stated out when you find the barn find. All the roads are made out of plastic. So basically, of the first drive I drove, I thought they had a rubbery texture. What is happening? You have a bit more grip everywhere you go because oh, we're crashing into everybody, yeah, there's no lanes and we took off. Okay, now looking good. So, you have a little bit of extra grip not to fall off because it, as you can tell, there is a massive angle on most of the roads in order to make you corner extremely fast in these loops. Now, Basically, as I can tell, it's working. You can actually drift. What the hell? There is a massive space over there. Yeah, you should have a lot of speed everywhere you go. Everything is set up for extremely high speed and extremely high speed cornering. So drifting in this game, whoa, it's not the most fortunate situation because you got all of these walls. Yeah, we're crashing into everything actually. And this car is handles pretty great. I didn't do any modifications. It's got 800 or 900 horsepower and on the normal roads in Forza Horizon 3 it handles pretty amazing, but in this expansion everything feels really weird. You can tell there was a, almost a 90 degree angle on that road behind us. Oh, this is a massive one. A look at the angle of the road. Can we do anything? Can we drift over here? Oh, we're the car wants to straighten out really fast. And we got a speed boost zone. Holy shit, instantly pushed us to 180 and we even crashed. Oh, and we're stuck now. Seriously? Yeah, it seems like it. I can't move at all. It, we're basically sitting on the edge over here and we can't move so once you lose the speed you're stuck completely let's actually move to a different location okay so here it seems that the roads might be a little bit straight but nothing is straight in this expansion let's head out over there and see what happens yeah okay i don't want to go up seriously the best location i could find anyway let's go backwards so Everything feels different. These speed boost zones, yeah, you gotta be ready for them. We were actually in fifth gear and it was topping out to the maximum of the rev limiter. Holy moly's, and you got these insane angles for the roads and the weight of the car pushes you in all kinds of direction as which we are not ready for oh we're going upwards i can't tell which way we're going at all now it's completely downwards we're drifting and crashing at the same time holy moly is the car wants to jump 
Yeah, it's basically a pretty insane. I took a 6 gear and even in 6 gear in maxed out. This is insane. Way too many walls. So the game I stated out before feels exactly like Trackmania. Well, you got a little bit more realism on how you control the car and how the car loses traction and everything. But it's basically a massive Trackmania game with a bit more realism. And you got dinosaurs, <laughs> holy shit. So we're gonna go through a loop over here. Is drifting gonna be possible over here? Oh, he crashed again. <laughs> oh, there's not enough space. Everywhere you go, yeah, if you wanna go in a straight line and try drifting, eh, you don't have enough space. And if you wanna go in drifting in a corner, actually, this is a really good spot. Let's try drifting over here. You basically need way too much speed and things get really hard. Okay, so it seems to be working out over here. Even though we're driving on plastic, somehow we're able to do an e-drift, at least a small one. Let's try to get a long one, come on. Yeah, we're not bad, not bad. Okay, I think I'm getting a hang of this. Okay. So that massive dinosaur is biting out of the track <laughs> anyway. Let's try another one. Everything you know about Forza Horizon 3 is completely changed in this expansion. And after a speed boost, I actually went in the seventh gear. Tried to drift, hit all the walls. Can we go up? Oh, oh, oh! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, so basically gravity is gonna pull you back. We went on the road, but we were actually upside down and we crashed into the water. This is simply insane. Let's try it one more time. Let's go all the way up to 7 gear this time. And it boosts you to a pretty fine speed, 169 miles per hour in this case. Oh, we're drifting, going upside down, and now we're going downhill. Oh man, this is like a mountain rush. This, oh, don't hit the tail of the dinosaur. Don't hit the rock, oh, yeah. So basically you got way too much speed. Gravity is pulling you all over the place, everywhere you wanna go. Yeah, drifting is kind of hard in this game. I think the idea is to try to uh, upgrade the Hot Wheels cars. Oh, don't crash, we crashed again. Cars going all over the place. The idea is probably to upgrade the Hot Wheels cars and try to give them a lot of rubber and a lot of power. Oh, driving a conventional drifting car seems quite hard. Let's try to go to the right over here. Pretty nice corner. Can we do anything over here? Yeah, we got it. So I'm no, I'm not the best drift driver. I'm not even near from that. Don't crash. Oh, but this game feels quite impossible. I know I can drift this car in the normal Horizon 3. But this expansion, oh man, it's killing me. I gotta learn everything all over. Ooh, massive loop in front. Let's see what we can do here. Eight gear, speed boost up to 150. Oh, we don't have enough power. Can we make it down? Drift it, baby. Oh, not looking bad. And another speed boost. Yeah. When you're least expecting, you get these massive speed boosts. And the car simply wants to go forwards. Everything else is really hard to control. Oh man, another one. Anyway guys, this is the first look at drifting in the Hot Wheels expansion. It seems pretty hard, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are gonna get the hang out of it. 
should be amazing in the end. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Come out. Oh, yeah.